Hi, everyone. This is Carol again. Hey, uh, uh, thanks for your patience while I'm learning all of this. I've decided to not go ahead and flip and maybe practice that more more often. But I do want to show you the suite. So um, I wanted to show you today the Ornate Garden Suite. It is a collection of two stamp sets and two dies and paper and some accessories. And I'll show you all of those. And then I'll show you some examples using this set, um, which really will show you the power and the beauty of this set. So this is the Ornate Garden Suite, and um, first I'll show you uh, the beautiful Designer Series paper. Uh, with this paper you get 12 sheets and you get um, six different patterns. So this is one of the patterns. We've got this beautiful daisy. We've got this beautiful... Um, mint macaron background with the flowers which i love and these dainty little flowers with the yellow background and we also have this oh hi darlene how are you <laughs> thanks for joining me today and then we also have this beautiful daisy set and then of course all the back the back side of the paper has these beautiful foil uh, elements embedded into the the paper um, so I wanted to show you some examples using this paper. Uh, it is simply gorgeous, and I've had fun making cards with this and um, participating in a swap, which I will share with you shortly. But here is the, um, the die set, the Ornate Thanks die set, and um, you can get it bundled with the Ornate borders, or you can buy them separately. Um, but this is uh, a wonderful set. I love the thank you in this big font, um, and you can pair it with these sayings. So, um, you know, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, you can use these sayings outside of thanks. Um, you're amazing for all you do from all of us. So it's a very versatile set. And then these borders um, are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, they can either cut as an edgelet, like this one will cut on the edge of a paper, creating a beautiful design, and so will this one, and as well as this one. And uh, these can be cut out separately um, as a die cut piece, or this one in particular can be uh, cut out um, with one side uh, being an edgelet, and then if you want to cut it out fully, you can then use this uh, die to finish cutting it out. The second set is called Ornate Style, and it's this beautiful pattern uh, flower. I love this flower. I love coloring it in, and this cute daisy along with some accent pieces and this little flower, which is, I fell in love with this little flower and I used it on my card. So I'll show you that shortly. And then it comes with these beautiful sets of frames. You get eight dies uh, total. Uh, all of these are frames. And then these insets, you can cut out uh, a beautiful piece out of the middle of your card. And I've got a great example using that piece. So uh, just to show you some of the accessories, this is the new embossing folder. I don't know if you can see that, but um, it's absolutely gorgeous, very dainty. And uh, I did cut out a sheet using that. So hopefully you can see all the dimension and all the um, beautiful flowers and how delicate they are. And so it also comes, the suite also comes with two beautiful ribbons one this is terracotta tile color and this is old olive so um, both coordinate so well with those papers and then one of my favorite accessories are these gilded gems that um, they show and i don't know if you can tell but they're faceted and so they're raised and they come in three sizes and this is my second pack i just absolutely love them so um, just wanted to show you those are the products and um, the next thing we'll do is I'll show you some of the cards made with this suite of products. And uh, so let's get started. I participated in a leader swap uh, not too long ago. And um, I uh, got these beautiful cards. I, they always do a nice job. So it's always uh, exciting to get their cards in the mail. And so this card is using the designer series paper and the ribbon, as well as the sank stamp, and then that beautiful uh, floral border. It's also using our um, 
these are our little doilies, which is, is, is in the annual catalog and is actually retiring. So I've loved adding this as an accent to my cards. And uh, so if you love them too, you might want to look at our retired uh, list and order some of these because they are going to be retiring. So any of our retired products are available through June 2nd and less um, they sell out early. So um, once the retired list goes out, there's uh, things go fairly quickly. So if you love those like I do, you might want to order an extra set or two. So, oh, darling, you have that folder and you really like it. Oh, I'm so glad. I do too. And I, I've, uh, some of the cards I am going to show you today have, um, have, are using that folder. So this is the uh, second card I got. This is uh, from Kelly Burkhart and it uses the the frames and it uses the joseph technique um and if you just look that up it'll show you how to do that technique but isn't that fun with the colors showing through she embossed um the uh ornate style flower bundle uh bundle there and then um use the joseph techniques to, to reveal all the color isn't that gorgeous and this is another card. What I like about this card is I love color block. I don't know if you do too, but um, it really shows off the paper. The paper, I think, in this set just um, makes your card, uh, speaks for itself. And so this was really cute how they color blocked that and used the thanks saying and a little gilded gem to set that off along with the ribbon. This next card is by Susan Campfield, and this is the Spanner Panel three-layer card. And so I love this card uh, because it uses one sheet of paper, and yet it creates three layers. So she used the beautiful borders um, on a piece of acetate and uh, trimmed it with some designer series paper. Use the designer series paper here. When you open it up, it also has featured some of the designer series paper. You're amazing. And then, oh, and the ribbon. And then the uh, inside sentiment. So it's like three layers, but made out of one piece of cardstock. I love that technique. This next card was done by Linda Larson. And uh, she used the floral, one of the floral borders, along with the designer series paper and the stamp set, as well as, my, as the gilded gems. This next card, I, I love this card because I love the heirloom, uh, the woven heirloom sayings, and they're so pretty. And she used the edgelets on this card. As you can see, it's all cut out just on the edges. So that is a beautiful card, and that one doesn't have a name on it. Okay, here we go. Here's one of the cards that uses that uh, embossing folder. Isn't that beautiful? And simple monochromatic sort of card with just two colors. Emboss the daisy from the ornate style stamp set. Use the frame and the ribbon. And, uh, and then it also has this border die. Yeah, Woven Heirloom has great words, Susan. You're so right. And I am so glad that it's carrying over to the new catalog. So that's great news. Um, here is an example of a card uh, that uses that inside... Um, frame from the ornate layers uh, this piece right here and what I really like about this card is the fact that they cut out a, sh uh, um, a rectangle using uh, this rectangle comes with ornate layers and she cut out the center using the die and then layered it with another piece of paper so that it really pops on that card and so um, it's just gorgeous and this card is just, it's using the scripting uh, embossing folder in the background. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just a beautiful card when you see it in person. And love the pop of color that was added to this. And this was done by Lene Rue. Oh, that single daisy. Isn't it gorgeous? And here, speaking of which, this next card shows that single daisy. It's uh, very simple, but easy to color in. And it, this one is featuring the embossing folder and the uh, borders dies as well as the sanks set here's another uh color example or color block i like to call it color block uh because it, using the designer series paper and then uh the sayings and what i really like here too is how she paired that with uh espresso brown paper isn't that beautiful and then of course the cutout flowers that comes with the borders as well 
Hey, Lori, glad you like this set. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it, too. Um, and so I'll be making a lot more uh, cards using this uh, set for sure. Here are the um, frame, frame dies again with a simple sort of monochromatic card using the terracotta tile. And then look at the, the one edgelet uh, that she used to get these edges. Gorgeous. This card is actually one of my favorite because I love a lot of color. And so uh, this one, she did a beautiful job of coloring in. And notice how she stamped just the corner of the, uh, the flower bundle to, to make this card. She only stamped a piece of it and then, and, and then had this color and then layered it again in the espresso brown and using the multiple frames and the embossing folder. A lot of detail on this card. It's gorgeous. And, of course, my favorite, <laughs> the Faceted Gems. So this next card, I love this because it showcases the Designer Series paper. It, the card speaks for itself. Just layering the Designer Series paper uh, with a bow and then a sentiment. And uh, she paired this with Rococo Rose paper. And that is a beautiful combination. I love that card, too. And that was by Lisa Schultz. Uh, I have two more cards to show you. This one is the is Thanks for All You Do. She used the embossing folder as well as the designer series paper, one of the smaller frames along with the ribbon. And this one was by Terry Gaines. And this last card, it was my card that I submitted for the swap. I used the uh, second to the largest uh, frame die. No, actually, it was the largest. I used the largest frame, so it really covers a card. And what I liked about that frame is it created a laced look to the card. So it looks really lacy and paired with the dainty flowers. Um, it's a simple but um, striking card, I think. So those are my... Um, those are my swap cards that I had to show you, or I wanted to show you. I am looking now for four cards that are going to be featured in my upcoming class. So I have a class coming up on May 21st, uh, May 22nd, and May 23rd. And these, are, these next few cards are the four cards that we're going to feature in that uh, class. So this is the first card. We're going to be using the borders. Um, actually, when you do my class, it's going to be all virtual. So what that means is that you uh, up, sign up for the class, and you do that by going to my website and signing up for the class. And you can see the class dates and times and the details, but it's a virtual class. So uh, based on today's times, because we can't meet in person, um, all of the die cutting will be done for you for these cards. And uh, you just need to provide the sentiment. Um, and so these cards will be provided for you. And this will be the first card using the designer series paper, the borders, the flowers, and using some of our punches. This tree leaf punch is retiring. So it's one that I've used on so many cards to add extra detail. That one's actually retiring. So if you like that as much as I do um, and you don't have it, you might want to consider purchasing it. Uh, and then this is our sprig punch. So this is card number one for the class. The second card is using the embossing folder, the new embossing folder, the frames, and... Um, the actual ribbon and then if you can notice they've got a few, a few gems uh, put on that beautiful designer series paper this is the third card that you will be making or will be assembling uh, it has the border the beautiful flower border and um, the tool ribbon which is still carrying over into the new catalog yay because I love it um, but this is using um, a blueberry bushel uh, cardstock. So with that, you're going to, that is retiring. That is one of our in colors that is actually retiring. So uh, if you're interested in that color and don't have it or don't have enough of it, um, also consider purchasing that. And then this is our last card because I love the daisies so much. Um, I love this daisy paper and I love it paired with the espresso brown. And of course, we're using the leaf punch again and the daisies. So that is, uh, will be the fourth card featured in the class. So um, that is everything I had to show you for the Ornate Style uh, Ornate Garden Suite um, Bundle. 
So my last few words are just if, um, if you haven't seen my site, go ahead and go on my site. There's a calendar out there. It shows you the dates for the classes and how to sign up. And also, if you are to uh, place an order with me between now and April 30th, as a thank you from me, you'll get three free cards as a thank you. So I uh, just wanted to let you know, if you place an order, use this host code, uh, Z, B as in boy, E, Z, for GPS. So um, that's all for today. I hope to see you again next week or maybe even sooner I'll do another live. So have a great day, everyone.